Hey everybody, this video is all about a new planar magnetic headphone from Odyssey, the maker of world-class audiophile grade headphones. Odyssey is really passionate about accurate sound and ergonomics. Nearly every pair the company makes is hand-built in the USA at their Southern California facility. So we're thrilled to review a totally new signature model from this high-performance headphone maker. Now, this new signature series open back taps into Odyssey's special planar magnetic tech to deliver something that I think is very unique to the headphone community. The design for this special headphone has a pretty cool backstory. After the LCDX came out in 2015, Odyssey loaned a pair to Manny Mariquin. While working with some of the biggest artists in the music business, he's credited with over 40 number one hit songs and he has racked up 11 Grammy awards so far. According to Odyssey, Manny Mariquin has been using their flagship audiophile grade headphones for years to mix outside of his Larrabee studio in Hollywood, but since the these are designed so well for at-home listening with a good headphone amp to drive them. He wanted a reference class tool that he could easily bring along with them for mixing and working remotely. So Manny Mariquin started giving Odyssey his special sonic and ergonomic specifications to help Odyssey create a reference grade solution refined for his exact studio requirements. After thoroughly testing each prototype with Odyssey, Manny Mariquin put his name on the MM500 and actually became a part of the company. Now these headphones have a pro level look and feel compared to Odyssey's most expensive flagships. However, the MM500's headband, yoke structure, and chassis have all been completely rethought to accommodate Manny's exact ergonomic requirements. In terms of reliability, these headphones look and feel like they were made to last and stand the test of time. Like the LCD X, the back of the MM500's ear cups are ventilated to the outside world, which allows sound to flow out into your surrounding environment. Because the backs of the ear cups do not block the sound waves from escaping out, this design is known to produce a wide open soundstage that is similar to sitting in front of a pair of near field speaker monitors. A bonus of this this open back concept is the ventilated airflow, which helps your ears stay cooler for longer. Now, we have a full written article that explains all the differences between open back and closed backs, so check it out in the description if you want to know which one you should buy. Now, the MM500 features thick, extra plush black premium leather on the ear pads, a lightweight machined aluminum and spring steel construction, a gunmetal black gray finish for a very no frills purpose built chassis that simply looks like a serious professional listening tool. Like most Odyssey headsets, the new MM500 features swiveling ear cups, which is a nice bonus since this allows the headphones to lay flat on a desk in case a headphone stand isn't close by. Now Odyssey also generously bundled a professional heavy duty travel case with a thick foam padding for storing and protecting your investment while you're on the go. Inside the pro level hard shell case there's an extra long braided quarter inch to dual four pin mini xlr cable that is about eight feet long a certificate of authenticity and a warranty card that provides a link to download a digital user guide okay so when it comes to comfort manny maroquin typically mixes on a huge multi-track analog recording console that would be big enough to fill up an entire room and several pairs of professional studio monitors at Larrabee Studios in Hollywood. Since he does hours upon hours of serious critical listening to fine tune the sound we ultimately hear on the radio and high res music streaming platforms, Manny wanted to see if he could mix number one hits outside of his famous Hollywood studio from hotels using just a laptop and a pair of low impedance headphones. The LCD X open back and the LCD XC closed back are among Odyssey's most successful headphones under $2,000 a pair. And I use these in particular to mix at home and on the go. But for the longer periods of critical listening that Manny frequently does, Odyssey told us he needed something that would let him go the distance and support all of his listening needs outside of his usual studio environment. Inspired to create a slightly more portable design, Odyssey brought nearly everything from the LCDX series that made them so popular with audiophiles, but they created a new adjustable headband specially made for the MM500. In our testing, the new spring steel headband delivered a secure and flexible clamping force that created an excellent seal. Spring steel is strong, yet 
ultra flexible and lightweight. So this also makes the headphone extremely durable, just like you would expect from a professional piece of equipment. The yoke allowed for a wide range of adjustments, and this also helped us to find a snug fit even with everyone's different head shapes here at Audio Advice. Each step clicked into place and securely locked into position, and this made finding the perfect fit quick and easy. Odyssey also reduced the size of the planter magnetic drivers housed inside the ear cups from 106 millimeters to 90 millimeters, and this allowed the engineers to minimize the overall size of the chassis and the weight sitting on top of your head. Now, you might think this would also compromise the audio, but it's worth noting that the surface area of the diaphragm is basically the same. So these have the same capabilities as the LCD X series in terms of bass, and albeit a little bit better. MM500 weighs slightly over a pound, which is more than four ounces lighter than the LCD X. And in terms of ergonomics and comfort, when at work, in the studio, or on location, every little bit of weight counts, and we appreciate Odyssey's extra special special attention to these details. Overall, I was deeply impressed with how well the lightweight materials, the new headband design, and its slightly smaller size all made a smart compromise between a secure fit that stayed on my head with a level of comfort that actually stayed comfortable for longer. Now, when it comes to a planar magnetic headphone, the name of the game is making the diaphragm as thin as possible. And this is why the diaphragm or the driver in all of Odyssey planar magnetics is so special. The diaphragm in the MM500 implements a large 90 millimeter ultra thin film that is less than two microns thin. It's so thin that it's actually thinner than a single bridge thread in a spider web. I mean, that's thin. Odyssey then positioned this incredibly thin diaphragm in between their special arrangement of magnets and this light weightiness allows the diaphragm to achieve true pistonic back and forth motion at extreme velocity. So the MM500 will reproduce the full spectrum of music from five hertz to 50 kilohertz. This has phone also inherits Odyssey's proprietary Fluxor magnetic structure, which lowers distortion to near zero. And then they combine this with Odyssey's special Uniforce voice coil pattern, which helps all parts of the diaphragm experience the same force uniformly for truly efficient pistonic motion. This trickle-down tech is from Odyssey's most expensive high-end models that also cost upwards of thousands of dollars. And Odyssey explained that it was Manny Marquin himself who demanded this be in his signature headphone because of the way it improves the tiny micro details you hear. Clear, resolute, deep bass with near zero distortion that you can almost feel hitting you in the chest like a good pair of loudspeakers is a major feature Odyssey is famous for, and it's all here in the MM500. For our on-the-go setup, we use a Chord Mojo 2 DAC headphone amp, which is a pocketable DAC amp with plenty of power to drive even the most power-hungry headphones. Since the MM500 has a low impedance of 18 ohms, it's very easy to drive. But the Mojo 2 has two headphone jacks and a very transparent sound, which is perfect for A-B testing and bypassing a smartphone's cheaply made op amp to reveal its full potential. Now, at home, we tested it with a Hi-Fi Rose RS150 reference network DAC streamer, which has a very high performance DAC chip that was actually designed for professional recording studio consoles and audiophile equipment, which is just perfect for the MM500 reference class sound profile. We listen to a lot of music genres using just the headphone jack on our computer and then the other equipment. The genres that stood out the most though had more natural instrumentation as you would expect such as jazz, classical, rock, funk, soul, and definitely bluegrass. On the other hand, if you're into any kind of electronic music production with powerful low end like trance or EDM or even hip hop, you'll appreciate the deep resolute five hertz bass response that this will reproduce. Overall, I could hear a very resolute separation of detail within a spacious soundstage that let me hear the music more like the artist intended it. And this is why the MM500 will be really useful for anyone who prefers to listen more critically. With just a laptop driving the MM500s, the soundstage was wide open and full of holographic detail. If you you want to hear the MM500's big, full, and neutral presentation, connect it to a good act and check out Fleetwood Mac's very intimate live performance of their hit song Landslide off their first live album. 
The Fleetwood Mac live album includes recordings from their 1979 to 1980 Tusk tour with a few recordings from their earlier Rumors tour of 1977. Stevie Nicks vocal and Lindsey Buckingham's plucky acoustic guitar just came alive with a realism that easily felt like I was being serenaded by the duo in my room. It's so cool. Similar to the LCD X, the MM500 is extremely linear, neutral, and natural sounding from top to bottom. You might even expect a planner magnetic driver to have a slight emphasis on the top end but not so with either of these headphones like the LCD X or this one. The MM500's 50 kHz top end will extend way beyond the range of human hearing but the MM500 is a little more neutral and natural sounding to my ears in its presentation across all the frequencies compared to the LCD X. Even on a track like Michael Jackson's Working Day and Night which is full of tiny little percussive elements elements all played by Michael and his family members, I could immediately tell the MM500 was designed for mastering engineers and audiophiles who want a truer representation of their music. This cut is full of natural instruments playing all at once. However, Michael's voice and the other instruments were all presented equally with a very balanced soundstage across its wide frequency range. And this feels exactly like how I think Michael would want you to hear it. For comparison, the popular LCD X is slightly sweeter, especially within the mid-range frequencies like vocals. Having said that, the dynamic crack of snare drums stood out slightly more in the MM500 soundstage compared to the LCD X without ever becoming fatiguing. With the MM500, we just heard more dynamic details hiding in the percussion, which helped us get into the music a little more. This test also demonstrated the MM500's natural response curve and its ability to help us sustain our listening session for a little longer. And when you hear a deep bass instrument with the MM500 it is full rich and it reaches incredibly low albeit a little bit deeper than the LCD X. If you want to push the MM500's deep resolute 5 hertz bass response then you have to check out Kendrick Lamar's Die Hard off his new album Mr. Moral and the Big Steppers. Even though the MM500 retains a neutral sound profile it's a great example of just how deep the bottom end weight performs with this headphone. For mastering engineers who need to work remotely or anyone who just wants to listen to music exactly how the artist intended, I think the MM500 is a neutral sounding, lightweight open back headphone that will translate deeper resolute bass like nothing else in its class. It's also cool knowing that Manny Marquin himself actually used the MM500 to mix the latest album album for Kendrick Lamar, and I think that in itself really says something. All right, so compared to something highly portable like a wireless headphone with noise canceling, the MM500 is not portable. But then again, most people shopping for a pair of planner magnetics are not considering portability. People shopping for this type of headphone are in a different category. These are audiophiles and true music fans who care about having the best sound quality available. Audiophiles who appreciate having the most accurate sound money can buy tend to covet Odyssey's larger over-ear headphones that practically hug your head to enhance listening at home. Now, if you were shopping for a really comfortable Odyssey headphone designed for high-end two-channel music at home, the LCDX is one of the most popular and best-selling headphones here at Audiovice that the brand makes under $2,000. On the other hand, if you're shopping for a planner magnetic headphone that happens to be slightly more travel friendly than Odyssey's top seller, then stepping up to the MM500 will offer you the best of both worlds without compromising any of the reference grade sound quality, performance, or comfort. In fact, all of these great elements are taken to the next level in this headphone. And in our testing, this is the lightest planner magnetic headphone and one of the most comfortable we have worn for long periods of time. Plus, if you're into headphones coded designed by an 11 time Grammy winning audio engineer, then the MM500 is it. All right, that wraps up our take on the MM500. I really hope this review has given you some insight into this new planner magnetic from Odyssey. To learn more about it, be sure to check out our full review. And if you're thinking about updating your two channel music setup, check out audiovice.com where you'll find more reviews like this, product comparisons, and our blog where you can browse our tips and tricks how-to videos. We offer free shipping a price guarantee and lifetime support on any products you purchase from Audio Vice.
device. If you have any questions, just give us a call, chat with us at audiovice.com, or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest home audio and home theater content. And we'll see you next time.